Boogie people, lovely to see you, and lovely to see you, camera number two. I was going to say technically camera number one, then I was like, wait, actually, no. The Nikon is number one, the Canon's number two, but the Canon is the better quality camera than the Nikon, and it is, that's bamboozles me every time. We're not here to talk about cameras, or the fact that no matter what I do, I can't get the white balance to, to, to work on the Canon. Um, I actually got it looking really, really nice before I started filming, flipped the camera around to face me, and it was like, white face, everything's white. And I'm like, fair enough, fair enough. It is true. So we are here because Pokemon Sword and Shield are here. Look at this. It's amazing. It's amazing. So I have one box of each. I'm only going to open one box in each video because we already know this is going to be like a 30 minute long video. It's inevitable. It always happens that way. And since I am playing Sword, we're going to open Sword. And let's have a look at the box art first. Do 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 do. I don't know why I did that tune. That has nothing to do with Pokemon. We got a clay doll, a Sobble, a Ghastly. Ooh, very nice. A um Grookey. Toxicroak, Krogunk. Toxicroak. Yes, Krogunk, Toxicroak. Yes. And Corbinite. Oh, I'm not gonna like what I see what my face did in that moment. Let's just jump right in to the box and see what's going on in here. I should put this box cutter down out of my way so I don't knock it off my elbows. As you can probably tell from camera number two, the Nikon is incredibly close to my body. So it's the only way that I can get the thing. Like, my hand is here and my pencil board is way over there. I have to stretch to touch that. But the camera is like, whoa, it's all so close. And I'm like, no, no, camera, calm down. I need to get the lens fixed. Um, this lens that's on it now is a macro lens. The regular old, just, you know, I want to say vanilla lens, but vanilla is delicious and not boring. Um, that, something just fell down in my kitchen. That lens is broken and I need to get it fixed so that we're not this closely zoomed all the time. My sleeves are getting annoying. Ooh, look at how pretty it is. Well, it isn't, isn't pretty. I mean, it's all computer graphic stuff, which is awesome, but it's also, you know, the first sets are always very kind of basic, like, here's Sword, here's your doggo. I'm going to get his name wrong, so let's just jump in here. <laughs> Actually, you know, you know we'll keep the box right there. We don't need to dump them all out. And let's just do this good old-fashioned one pack at a time with the Skizors. Oh, should we look at this first? 60 cards in the set. Um, does it look... Oh, rare, rare, rare. Rare, 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 rare. <laughs> so we've got common, uncommon, rare, double rare, triple rare, super rare, hyper rare, triple rare. That is new. There are two of those in this set. Uh, double rare Kita cards. Yeah. Um, so of course, being that this is a brand new generation of everything, new card game, new games. I just did a pack trick. I hope that's okay. Um, everything's different. We still have regular comms and uncommons, but the hollows have a different pattern to them. Oh, goodness. I'm also not going to know the names of the Pokemon. Um, we already can see, like, little differences in the style here. The little border at the top. Very nice. Uh, so, as I was going to say, the hollow foil is different. There's no more GXs. We now have V cards. Um, I don't know what else is going to happen. I mean, we've seen GXs, Prism Stars, and Tag Team GXs come and go. So, let's just see what else we get. You know what? What is his Japanese name? Otosu... Otosubas. Otosubas. That sounds very much like octopus. <laughs> we have a Kokogara. What's its name? Rukidi in English? <laughs> what's his name? My brain's saying Phoebus, and that's not it. Stung Fisk! This, like, cracked me up. I was not ready for it when I ran into them into the game. Sobble! Otherwise known as Misson. So cute, so sad, so emo, and a Rotom bike. Very cool. I can read that one automatically because I know it's a bicycle and Rotom's in it. So it's a Rotom bike. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. As you can probably tell, I'm still a wee bit under the weather. I've actually been nursing a headache all week. And I was like, I wanted to film last night, but before I even got home, apparently Crazy Lady was banging on the wall at my other neighbor, so I couldn't film last night. Woke up this morning, was like, Neh. ooh, look at that Comia art. I've never been so happy to see a Salazzle before. Ooh, ooh, let's get close in there. 
yes, what was I saying? I wasn't feeling that good this morning, so I wasn't ready to film right away. And then there was the evolution raids happening. So I came home, took a nap, and now we're here. Ooh, what was your name? Um, he, he's Kusune in Japanese. We'll just go with the Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Galler meow. <laughs> I was not ready for this. It was not spoiled for me. I knew one of my friends had asked me if I'd seen it, and I was like, I don't think there's a Galler meowth because you know we got an Alolan meowth and a Kanto meowth. How many meowths do we need? And then it was there, and he's got his little beard, and he looks like he's right out of the wild rumpus and the where's the wild things, and I kind of love him. I really, really like Berserker too. And there we go, our first double rare card. It is a Lapras, and that is just amazing. Art by Hasuno. So I'm already liking, as you could probably guess, that it's not a CGI image. It is an actual illustration. It, it could still be done with computer graphics. You, you know what I mean. It doesn't look like a 3D model. It looks like an actual illustration, and that is beautiful. Look at him just busting right out of the card. My god, I love those black borders. All right, well, let's put a sleeve on this. So now I know Rare Rare is the classification for V-Cards. V-Cards! How long is it going to take before everybody starts doing Vsauce jokes? I was about to say promos, and I'm like, wait, no, that's not what that is. <laughs> it's not satire or a pun either. But, you know, just being like, hey, V-Card, Michael here. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> we have a Sugoi Mazukuri. All right, so that's, that's, that's a really good potion. Oh, we got a Sao Sao Rosalia. Very excited because I know my friend Taj loves Sao Sao artwork. That is very nice. Eee! Oh gosh, what's its name? I actually never caught one of these in the wild. Um, somebody sent one to me in a surprise trade in Sword. Bachin Uni. Yeah, it makes sense. Bachin Uni. Makes sense. Hey, we got a Usoki Pseudo Widow. And. I can't remember his name. Um, Bachinki. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Bachinki is his Japanese name. Very cute. I like. He can stay. Oh, actually, all the starters this time around, they're all pretty awesome, and their final evolutions are all very good looking. I'm sure by now everyone's seen them all, and if not, you're probably going to see them in the card, so I apologize for that. But. <laughs> Um, they all look really good at all stages. I have to admit, Score Bunny's second evolution, or no, second stage. You know what I mean. Um, when he's, he looks like he's wearing a hoodie is my favorite. He's so cute. Uh, Foku Surai. <laughs> Sometimes the Japanese names. Oh, goodness. Um, Rukidi becomes something, becomes Corviknight. It's an Owl Garasu. It's it's a blue crow. It's a blue crow. It's a blue crow. Eee! Burn, like, it is oh, he's so cute! I love this pupper. He's so cute. I was very upset when he evolved for the first time around, so I had to get another one and then give it an Everstone. I'm like, never grow up. That is a very nice Maractus. I like that. And there's our first rare card. It is a Berserker. Look at that. Ooh! So its name is Nyai King. So it's basically like Nya King. <laughs> Nyai King! I love that. It is so cool. Oh my goodness. It, it's also, you know, Berserk is my favorite manga and anime of all time. So the fact that he is a Berserker, I'm like, that's just amazing. He, he could totally hang out with Guts. Oh, I love you. I love you, Berserker. You're so weird. I like that they went in such a totally different direction, too. Like, as opposed to Alolan Meowth becoming a Alolan Persian with an absurdly round head, they were like, let's create an entirely new Pokemon for Galarian Meowth to evolve into. And I appreciate their efforts. It's very nice of them. We got a Rotom Dentia, which is a Rotom bike. If you didn't know, Gitentia is a bicycle. We got... Club Octopus? Was that its name? It's a tataco. <laughs> so hitting things is like tataco. So he. <laughs> oh, the Oyaji Yagu is strong. Oh, this is so cute. 
<gasps> Chinami! I always get Mincino and Cinchino confused, and I sometimes think I'm getting the names wrong, but it's a Sekio card, and it is adorable! Oh my goodness! Oh, I love it! Oh, and there's our Grookey, and there's our Roserade. Very nice. Oh my goodness. I can feel a tickle in my throat happening, and I'm like, oh goodness, please don't have a coughing fit. Please, no coughing fits. I think it's because I was burning incense, and the smoke is just like, <clears throat> in my throat, and I'm dying. Well, I hope I'm not dying. Not until we finish opening these boxes, at least. Um, Poto desu. It's, oh, what was it? Poltegeist in English? I haven't got one of these yet, either. Need to go find one. Ferrothorn, Ferrothorn, I think? I think, I think, I think. Slammed it. Ah. If you guys don't know, way, 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 way long time ago when I first started this channel, there were a bunch of promo packs, and you had a chance to get some amazing things, and I just kept getting Salandit. So it is a cool Pokemon. It's a fire Pokemon. Poison. I like it. Yatomori is pretty nifty, but I still cringe every time I pull a Yatomori card, because it's just like, it's back. It's back, and it's mocking me. Um, yeah, you don't... I can't remember your English name. <gasps> but we got a Gengar! so cute. Also, loving this new hollow pattern with the lines. Very, very cool. I don't, it looks really good. What do you guys think of it? I mean, everything's new and different, obviously, but I like this. I think I can get used to this line thing. Ooh, look at it go. Very, very nice. I'm very excited to see how full arts look. Um, now, unfortunately, a couple things were spoiled for me. Um, one or two, I actually like went to news sites without thinking and was like, oh no, so I know that there's a Marnie Full Art in one of the two sets. And I accidentally opened Instagram and it was spoiled that there's a Morpeko um, Full Art. And what was the other one? Oh, I got an email from the Pokemon company. <laughs> Pokemon Center Online was all like, hey, we know you like buying stuff from us, why don't you come on down? And I'm scrolling, looking at new progs, new progs, new progs, and then there's BD. And I'm just like, well, there's another full art trainer spoiled. But, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. I've done pretty good at avoiding things, and I'm getting to see a lot of this for the first time, which is fantastic. I don't remember your name, but he is a Maruyakude in Japanese. We got a Kingura. Kingler is Kingura in Japanese. Nice and easy. Hey, there's that Slazzle Dazzle with them jazz hands. Love it. I just noticed. Is that also Salazzle artwork here? And she's just like, it's a me! Look at the me! I'm a doing a dance on the wall. I am so special. I don't know why she has that accent. She, she lives in an English type place. Maybe because I can't do a British accent. I can't do any accent, let's be honest. Um, Crow a gunk, I think. And a fishing rod. We're, we're getting through here. We're making a reasonable time. You know me. I like to enjoy the artwork on the first look through of everything. And I'm also not sure if I'm going to buy second boxes of either sets. Um, there is a special set box out now. It's like 6,000 yen, which is a lot. There he is. His name is just Beetle in Japanese. <laughs> Beetle! I mean, it makes sense with the music he has when you battle him, though. Um, but yeah, it's like a 6,000 yen box. You get 10 packs of each set in it, so I don't really think it's worth it. And I do need to be a bit smart with my money. We have a Mantine, but I love opening packs, so I don't know. We'll see. I always say, like, I need to save money and behave myself, and then I just go crazy. Oh, it's a wall buffet by Ayaka Yoshida. Once again, an illustration. I like that a lot. Sonance! This is Japanese name. Sonance. Very, very cute. I like him. <laughs> I think that's... I'm not sure how Solnance translates into English. It's being like, oh, you know, Solnance. But um, I think that's why the baby is a why not. I can't remember what the baby's name is in Japanese. It'll come to me later, but it's also kind of funny. It's just one of those ones. It's one of those ones. You, you can't not love it. Oki Naomori. So it's some sort of a big, it's a big amulet. It's a big, big amulet. We got a Sobble Ghastly. Ooh, I really like that artwork. Who is this person? Taira Akitsu. I don't think I've seen that illustrator's name before. I like that. It looks like watercolors. It is beautiful. Hey, we got another one of the Sekios. Yay. Oh, I'm very happy about that. That's going in the Sekio binder. Ooh. 
and very nice on this guy. I can't remember his name. I just know he's an emo boy. Um, Jimedeon, I think is a Japanese name. Jimedeon, that makes sense. The Medeon at the end, at least, for Chameleon. It makes some kind of a sense, in my head at least. And we're almost halfway through this box, and we're already at the 15 minute mark. <laughs> She said sheepishly, knowing that you poor people have to sit through all these minutes. Oh, that is a very cute Krabby! I, I want to touch the screen on the Nikon. Uh, it doesn't have a touch screen. Krabu, Krabby, so cute. Ooh, we got a nice Ferro Seed by Yuka. We got another Yatomori! Ooh, and you! Once again, I'm not going to remember all the names. Interion is Japanese name, and I feel like that's really close to the English name, isn't it? Interion. Very, very nice, though. Very cool. Oh, I'll have to have another look. I've been avoiding looking directly at the V Max starter decks that are for sale because they all have the starter cards in them and some sort of a V card. Um, they're pretty cool looking, but I know they all have the starters, and I didn't want to be spoiled on what the artwork looks like, but I'm not sure if the artwork in those decks is the same as the artwork in the sets. So, we'll have to figure that out later. Um, maybe a Jimedion. Usoki. So now we're starting to get repeats, so, you know, we're getting some efficiency happening. Algrasu. Pupper. Look at Pupper. And you. Otosubasu. Otosubasu? Basu? Um, whatever. It's a punching octopus man. He's very angry about all the octopi that you gobble up in your takoyaki in Osaka. Um, we're just gonna put that down. <laughs> I don't feel like trying to read it. Uh, Yakude. Uh, I want to say Centiscorch, but I can't remember for sure. We got a Galarian Yelv. We got you. Why can't I think of your name? Ah! And you! I have not encountered this Pokemon yet in the game. I think I might have battled one, but I haven't actually found one in the wild. Um, no, no, it's got my danger. The danger. Is it a she or a tsu? If I think it's stone, then Ishihenoljin? Ishihenoljin? Maybe? That, that sounds about right. Also, very cool. Five band graphics is back, though. But, you know what? I like it. It looks good. I will accept it. I will not complain about the five ban on that one. Because, you know, they've, they've done a lot of work for the Pokemon Company. They're not going anywhere. They do hard work. I know it's just as much work to render images on a computer as it is by hand. It's just, you know, I like, I like things by hand. I'm a little maybe just traumatized by my college experience. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned this before. I actually went to school... Ooh, I need you, little teacup guy, Yabacha. And Claydol, also by Colmia. Very cool. I was worried there for a second. I was going to get the, the one special card in the box. I don't know if you can hear all that. That's the, that's the lady next door. She does that when she's coming and going. What was I saying, though? Yeah, I actually went to school for graphic design. My hope, because I'd been told this, was that I'd be able to branch into illustration and specifically do traditional illustration. But nope, they lied and changed the whole program and we had to spend hours in a dark computer lab. They actually were like training us to take like Getty images and trace them in Photoshop and Illustrator. It was not teaching us how to make artwork whatsoever and I hated it. So in my mind, even though like this is obviously, these are unique and interesting characters, the Pokemon, um, it's still hard for me not to think like, hmm, somebody is being trained to do illustrating on a computer. Maybe their teachers also just had them stealing images and copying them rather than actually like drawing something. And so, uh, yeah, I'm a little judgy on computer stuff because of that, which is not okay, but I'm, I'm learning. I'm trying to be better. We got a very cute haunter here. We got a stunfisk. We got a sea urchin that's adorable with his little butt mouth. A rosalia, and I'm going to put that down. I saw some very sparkly border there. So this is going to sit right here. Pikachu, guard it for us. And let's just continue with the second half of the box. Holy heck, it's sparkly. I have no idea what to think of that. <laughs> um, wow. It, it was very sparkly. We'll find out what it looks like when I get there. But up, up, but up, bum. Why do I keep doing that? 
Um, you, you sly little fox. Whose name is actually Falkusu. Falkusly. We, we've been through this before. It's a Meowth. It's a Salandit. It's an Usoki. Pseudo Wudo. <laughs> I need to explain right now. <laughs> so first off, um, we have a cormorant, and I can't remember what its Jap or uh, what its Pokemon name is, but it's based on a cormorant. And um, not too long ago, my friend Kevin and I tech support when he was trying to help me get the cannon working. We were walking along and checking out some fall colors, and we saw a cormorant in the trees. And I was taking pictures of it. And a couple came along, an older couple, and they were like, "Oh wow, like that's all perfectly framed. That bird's just posing for you." And I was like, "Yes, it is. Go for it. I got my shot. You get yours in." And then I was like, "What do you call this bird?" And they were like, "Ooh." <laughs> I was like, "Ooh. Its name is Ooh. It is Ooh." Uh oh. <clears throat> okay, I think we're back. I hope. The Nikon stopped recording, so I think it has a limit. I think it has a 15 minute limit. This one is still going. It's at 20 something. So it's not 15 minutes. I don't know how many minutes. Whatever. Anyways, this cormorant, uh, like the actual bird cormorant in Japanese is called ooh, and this is just ooh. <laughs> so it's just a longer ooh. It's just an ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Of course, that then led to every time we saw a cormorant, Kevin and I had to point it and go, ooh, because that's, that's what you do. I mean, it's what it's called, right? Oh, it takes me back to high school. Back in high school, my best friend and I had to point at every single squirrel and yell, squirrel, because that's what you do when you see a squirrel, because they're just so cute and chunky and fluffy, and they got their little twitchy tails, and then they plant trees by accident because they forget where they hid their snacks. There he is. Uh, I want to say balder, balto, but I... It's not quite that. It's close. Parusuan. Eh? Paru Parusuan. Okay. So it'd be Parusu. Parusuan. I don't know what Parus would be, but Wan is dog. So it's 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 a Parus dog. <laughs> palace dog, maybe? I mean, it's close to... It makes me think of Palace Cat for some reason. Which are also very thick, chunky, wonderful cats. Oh, they're so cute. They're not pets, obviously, but they're adorable. How are we doing? It's a hyper potion. It's another octopus and a mantine and a stump fisk. An emo boy whose name I can't remember in English for the life of me. You know what? I'm thinking with the number of duplicates we're seeing, we really do not need to open a second box of this. But you know me, I will almost certainly buy some loose packs to open at some point. I actually did grab a couple loose packs today to put in my sealed pack collection because that is what you do. Um, you are a flaming centipede, and a glary mouth, and a cruel gung, and a crabby, and a bike. I feel like my nose is dripping. Why? It hasn't been running all week, and then I turn on the camera, and suddenly it's like, ha 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 ha, I am a faucet now. And I'm like, why? Why? Wah. Wah. Waluigi. Beetle! He gonna beat you up. Rosalia. Ferroseed. Algarasu. Hey! And there is our final evolution for Grookey. Goriranda. So he is literally a gorilla in Japanese. Goridanda. I think even of the three final Pokemon, Scorbunny's final evolution is my favorite. I mean, Scorbunny's the one I chose. Of course, I'm going to go for fire. But I think out of the three designs, it's the one I like the most. And then the water guy, and then plant guy. Um, I don't know. Goridanda. He's, I mean, he's, he's pretty cool looking, but I don't know why he needs to have a drum. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't know. He's a little awkward. Let me know who is your favorite. I'm sure you guys have very different opinions. I know the plant types are quite popular. As far as they go when they're little, they're all like equally cute. It's almost impossible to choose a starter. <sighs> I ended up going with um, Score Bunny just because I like fire types the most. And I pretty much will always go for a fire type. Uh, Polchema, Piplup was the only time I chose a water type. So, hey, you know... Oh, now that one's going. Chotomate! Are we back? Back? 
back on both cameras? I hope so. I don't know what's happening. One turned off, and then the other turned off. So, yeah, um, I guess they don't like filming for more than 20 minutes. <laughs> we'll have to keep that in mind for future videos. Hey! I forgot to do a pack trick on this one. <laughs> but we have here... What's his name? Delmias? Is that it? The big old anchor? Very, very cool looking. I am liking that. I feel like I need to hustle now. I feel like the cameras are getting angry. I'm not sure if it's just a time thing or if they're overheating or what. I don't feel like this has happened in quite some time though. So let's maybe hustle through these next few packs. We're almost done this box though. So, you know, just hang in there cameras. Hang in there. I like you both almost equally. Chinachino! I can't remember its English name. I always get Mincino and Cinchino backwards, but it is super cute. I like that a lot. I swear. Hey! There's the Sekio one. It's just so cute. Um, Centipede, Mantine, and a very, very big Omamori. A protective amulet of some sort. What it's protecting us from, nobody knows! Except those of you whose Japanese is better than mine, or who have a translation in front of you and actually know what that card is. Pachinki! Yajiron! I don't know why we're doing Japanese now. Yatomori! Wanpachi! His Japanese name is so cute! He is so cute! I love him! Ooh, and there... Did we double up on this one? I feel like we might have. Or maybe I'm just thinking of the box art. But this one is Toxicroak, right? Croagunk evolves into Toxicroak, right? Yes, I think. In my brain, it always is like Toxicro, Crow, a Gunk. Toxic Crow, a Gunk makes sense to go in that order, but it's the backwards order. Right? I hope. I hope. We'll find out. Oh my goodness. I really just want to get to the. Whatever that one card is. Oh, I want to know what it is. It looks so sparkly. Poltygeist, I need one. Grookey. Krabby. Maybe a. Cinchino. That's a Chirami in Japanese, and he's so cute! And whatever you call the stone you use in curling, because that's what that looks like to me. It looks like a curling stone. Do they just call them stones? I feel like they just call them stones. I want to call it a puck, but I know it's not a puck. However, I, I would be very entertained to see hockey players try and play with that instead of regular puck. Um, it's a hyperpothin. It's a kusune. Why am I talking like this? It's a ghastly. It's a ferro seed. It's an old lady. <laughs> What's her name? Is it Magnolia? I can't remember her name. Um, I can't read. That furigana. Hakase no Kenkyu. Okay, well, I, I know she's a professor. I want to say Magnolia, but I feel like that's not right for some reason. She's definitely named after a flower and not a tree, right? I think? I think? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 there it is! <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Magnolia Hakase. So she is Professor Magnolia. Okay, I'm, I'm not totally crazy. I just am not very observational and didn't bother to read the whole card before I had a panic attack and thought I couldn't remember her name. Oh goodness, the pack litter to my left here is slowly taking over. It's gonna invade the screen soon. Poltygeist, Fusoki, Messon, Yatomori, Mariakude. I don't know why I switched to Japanese halfway through. I just can't. It's, it's, it's what's in front of my face. It's easier to read the Japanese when the Japanese is in front of my face. And I don't have all the names of the Pokemon memorized yet. I know there's a Scorch. I want to say there's a human Sentai pad, but I'm pretty sure there's not. That was a great episode of South Park, though. Oh my god, I love South Park. Fusen! And Rukidi! <laughs> Tatako! <laughs> Krabi! Otherwise known as Krabi. Oh! 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 Um, so we have a Lapras VMAX. Holy heck, that is textured. This is a rare, rare, rare. Can, do, do, do you can get a rare, rare, rare and something else? How, how would you classify these? Okay, it's number 15 of 60, so what? This isn't like a secret where this is just part of the... Ooh, the texture. This is just part of the set. What? Do like... Approve, very much, highly approve this VMAX 
I can get behind this trend. Holy heck. So that means there's another one of these in the set. Oh, mama. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I like, I like a lot. I was not expecting that. Because like I said, there's sparkle, sparkle down over there. What? That is amazing. Okay, this is a, this is, this is, this is very exciting. I can, I am okay with this trend. I approve. I am the demographic. Yes. Oh, I love that you can have something that is essentially, in my feeling, a beautiful full art card. And it's just a regular part of the set. I love it. That's amazing. I will take ten, please. We have a cup of tea. He's a cute little cup of tea. I don't know. Am I hiccuping now? What is wrong with me? I don't know. I'm falling to pieces. Falling to pieces. Last pack. It's not even in focus on the Nikon. The Nikon's like, ha, no, I refuse. I refuse to cooperate with you and your shenanigans. And I'm just like, but please just cooperate because this is a ridiculously long video and I just need you to do some things for me. Corviknight. Very nice. I'm a gal. I'm a, I'm a god. In ja <laughs> Wait, what? I'm a god. Okay. I'm a god. I think I need a cup of tea. <laughs> Amaga. We have an ooh and an Amaga. <laughs> can't do this to me, Pokemon Company. <gasps> Rookie D. I want to say Thievil, but it doesn't seem right. Oh, what is its name? Ah, it's so cute, and I love it, and I can't remember its name. Kingler and another you. Pos... Parusu, Parusu Wan, Parusu Wan. Like I said, I, I just want to call him Balto. I don't think that's his actual name. I don't know why I'm putting a sleeve on this because it's a duplicate, but we're going to do it anyways. Let's get some stuff out of the way here. Hope oh, all this pack litter. There's so much pack litter. Put it to the side, make a little space, and let's see if I can carefully oh, pick these up. Okay, what's hiding behind here? Oh, who are you hiding, Rosalia? I have no idea what this could be. Like I said, it, it looked very sparkly. Let's see if I can show you what I saw. That's what I saw. Do you see? Do you see? It's just like sparkle, 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 sparkle. That's all I saw. And I was like, what? 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 That's amazing. So let's have a look, see, in three, two, one. What is this? What? Hyper Rare Traders? What? I have no words. What? 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 Oh! I don't know how to deal. What am I feeling right now? What is this? I don't know. I'm looking at it not and not looking at the camera. I need to look at the camera so that I make sure you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Look at that. It's just full-on glitter bombed to the max. We've got that sort of texture. Oh, look at that shine. And he's rainbow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What have you done, Pope? It's, I swear, I feel targeted right now. I feel personally attacked. They were like, we heard you don't like hyper rares, but you love full art trainers. So guess what? And I'm like, oh, I, I kind of love this. This is amazing. He is the sparkliest boy that ever lived. Oh, hail the Sparkle King. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to think of this. What do you What do you guys think? Are you okay? I'm not okay. This is intense. Oh my god, it's so sparkly. So sparkle. Much sparkle. Oh my god. Oh lordy. I, uh, my, my brain is kaput. It's broken. So broken. I, I don't know how to feel about this. I love it. I, I love it. But I'm also just like, what are the full art Pokemon cards like? What are the normal full art trainers like? Is everything sparkly? Is this, is everything going to be sparkly? I'm okay with that. I like the sparkles. All right. I had a little pause before my nose floods and we'll do a little recap.
because, yeah, why not? Recap time! So I've tried to put things in some kind of an order here. Let's just have a look through everything. Once again, I'm gonna get all the names wrongs, but if you just wanted to skip through everything and get straight to the polls, welcome to the video. Lovely to see you. I'm not judging you. Okay, <laughs> we have a Gorinanda. <laughs> um, Interion. I don't know why I reacted like I don't know his name when I read the Japanese one <laughs> name on the other guy. Oh, well, you know what? Let's actually bring these in a little closer so that you can see the artwork nicely. We got Parusuwan times two. So we did double up on that hollow, which is okay. Um, I guess it's expected when it's a 60 card set and kind of nice because it means I can just focus on buying loose packs and being a ridiculous human being. But also, I can buy some singles. Um, we've got this amazing Gengar. Very happy to see him. A Kroagunk. Do, doku Dogu in Japanese. We've got a Berserker. I really like him. I don't know. He's it, like the whole Galarian Meowth and Berserker thing are pretty funny to me. I enjoy it. Professor Magnolia. So those are our hollows. I wasn't counting. I hope you were. Um, we have this amazing V. It just feels weird saying V all the time. It's a V card. Um, also, for obvious reasons, it just feels awkward saying V anything. Got your V card stamped yet? See what I mean? Yeah. Awkward. I don't know why they chose that letter of all letters. Um, anyway, so this is a Delmise, I think. Ooh! <laughs> ooh! 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 Ishibenjin. Ishihenjin, I think. I think that's his name. Ishihenjin. Maybe. Makes sense to me, at least. Actually, yeah, wait a second. Wait a second. I think there might be a pun here. Because Ishi would be stone. And then Henjin, I'm not sure how that would actually work, but if you just think Henji, that sounds a lot like Stonehenge, doesn't it? And then Jin could be person, so he's a Stonehenge man, maybe? I don't know. If your Japanese is better than mine, please tell me. Sonansu! Doing his thing. This amazing, amazing Lapras. It's also kind of terrifying. Look at the intensity in those eyes. Like, he gonna get you. Oh my, don't you dare try to ride on her back. And then she becomes all calm and graceful. She's like, I am a V-Max. <gasps> so beautiful. I love, I, I love that they've made these textured triple rare cards. This is just absolutely fantastic. My only problem, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to need two of all these. Because I'm going to need one to put in my set and one to keep separate. Because they're too beautiful to not have a page of them. So... Well, I, I need it in my heart. I don't know if my bank account needs it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how expensive these cards end up being, because I don't know how playable they are. I just know it's beautiful, and I want it. And then, the Sparkle King! Ah, King of the Sparkles, Beanie! Bito in Japanese. Or is it just Bito? I keep wanting to say Bito, but I think I'm putting a Tsu in there. There it shouldn't be. Bito, 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 That's his name. He's the Sparkle King. Look at him. That is just an insane card. Absolutely insane. I don't... I can't process this card in my brain. It's amazing. I think it's amazing. Do you think it's amazing? It's pretty amazing. I really hope the fuller Pokemon are this amazing. If the Hyper Rare Pokemon are like this, I'm in big trouble. <gasps> big, big trouble. Well, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Two cameras is very confusing for me. <laughs> My brain is not wrapped around it yet. Grandma Ditto Brain can't handle technology! Everybody knows. But I hope you enjoyed this. It's a very, very long video. I'm gonna have some fun trying to edit this thing and hopefully get it to you guys as soon as possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's not dilly-dally anymore. Love and appreciate all you wonderful Pokemon people and we'll be back very soon with a box of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am and I'll see you soon. Bye bye Oh God, I'm getting attacked by a Pikachu. Ugh.